Hey guys, Caleb Collins here. Today, we're gonna learn how to edit a real estate video walkthrough utilizing the Vimeo Create mobile video editing app. So go ahead and download the Vimeo Create app from the App Store, and then let's get started. When you first launch the app, they have a lot of pre-made templates, even some specific for real estate, but I really don't love any of them for a video walkthrough. So we'll just get started by clicking create new video. Pull up your videos. Whenever you're shooting a video walkthrough to be edited in this app, it works a lot better if you're within that three to five seconds in your clip length. So for this video walkthrough that I shot with my cell phone, I actually tried to keep everything within that roughly five second range. That way you're getting the exact clip that you want when it pulls together the edit. I always try to shoot my videos in order that they're gonna be edited to. It makes your editing on the back end a whole lot easier. Select your clips in order of how you want them to go together in your final edit. Let's start with the front yard here. This one was an acreage. So I started shooting wide, showing the entryway into the driveway. Then I did some approach shots of the house showing how big that front yard is. Then I did some front porch shots. Then we're gonna be going into the home. So I did walking into the front door and then I shot a living room shot and we're moving into our kitchen. Got all of our kitchen shots. Then I decided to go into the master bedroom next. Moving into the master bathroom, into the master closet. Then the laundry was right off by here. So I went ahead and threw in some laundry shots. Then I worked my way into the bedrooms here and then the bathroom that was right by. Now we've got all the inside clips and then we're moving to the backyard. I pretty much shot this whole video in order for how I wanted the, the clips to go together. There were just a few that were out of order. This is really coming together easily with the edit and how I want it to flow together. I always like to end my videos with a shot starting at the front door and walking back, revealing the face of the home. So now we've got all of our clips selected in the order we want them to. So make sure to click this little icon on the bottom left hand corner. It has the number of how many clips you have selected. In the top right hand corner, it says arrange by and it defaults to auto. Make sure you select that and select selected order. It puts the video together as you want it put together. For the ratio, I just leave it on the auto because I shot it in landscape, it'll do it in landscape. And then for duration, if you need this video to fit within a certain time frame, you can put in a custom time if you want to keep it to three minutes, two minutes. But typically, I just leave it on auto. So that way it uses all the clips that I've selected. And if it ends up being too long in the final edit, then you can actually delete clips and it'll automatically make the video shorter. I pull down on this and click next. Next, we're gonna be jumping into the style of the edit. They call them filters and styles. They're pretty poppy. I mean, some of this stuff might be good for social media, but for editing a video walkthrough, I'm just not a huge fan. So I jump into minimalistic and I click on no filter and then I hit next. Now we're gonna be jumping into our music selection. There are some great ways to select the kind of music you'd like to have. And you can actually select by genres, moods, type, categories, like technology, sport, holidays. This home that I shot was more in the country. It was out of the city. So I thought it was more of a country music type home. Let's select country music. And then they give you just maybe 15 second previews of each of these songs and just find one you think that would be a great edit for a video walkthrough. Sweet, that's a great song. So next you're gonna wanna name your video. I normally just copy and paste in the address of the piece of real estate. Hit create and now it's gonna upload all of this footage to Vimeo and it's gonna analyze, process, and create the initial edit of the video. This will only take a few minutes. Now the render's finished, it only took about a minute. So in roughly three to five minutes, we're ready to preview the edit. So I like to go ahead and just watch the video through, see if there's any changes we should make to the video. 
Already the edit is coming together really nice. You know, what I love about Vimeo Create is it actually syncs up all of your footage to the beat and the tempo of the music, so it's cut together really nice. Let's take a look at how long. Okay, so I made the video three minutes and 34 seconds. You know, that's really not bad for a video walkthrough. Normally I'd wanna shoot in that two to three minute range, but we can always reduce footage at the end of the edit uh, if we think it just takes a little bit too long to get through the video. Man, that was a really good edit and there's really not much we have to do. The next step is we're gonna jump in and actually delete a couple clips that I thought are just unneeded for this video. So you click on edit, and then you click on the your clip number in the top center, and you can actually uh, modify and delete clips. So there was one shot I thought was just kind of unneeded here in the master bathroom. So I'm just gonna click that and delete that shot. There was a shot here in this half bath, and I thought I wanted it to line up differently. So if you click the little clock symbol, you can actually drag and reorder where you want the clip to start and end. So I wanted it to see just a little bit more of this sink area. So I'm gonna drag it to the left, just so we can see a bit more of the sink in that shot. Click done. Go back to all the clips together. There was one other clip of the backyard I just thought was unnecessary. So I'm gonna go back through and find that clip. Here we go, it was this one. I just thought it was a little bit redundant. Perfect. Now we've made all of our modifications to how the flow of the video goes. Now let's add our bumpers. So I like to throw our bumpers at the first clip that you see. So click plus button and add text. Paste in the address of that home. I like to make it where the street is on top and the city is down below. I'm gonna add street into the title here just so they're more even. Click done. And now you can add all these different styles. I really like the one that's titled lines. Now we need to go to alignment and make it center. And I do like to add the soft drop shadow to add a little bit of uh, dimension to it. And then size, I like bringing it down to about 25% and putting it in the center of the screen. So now you've got your address. Real estate agents, they love having their name and their branding and their brokerage on their videos. Let's go ahead and add their name. Select text and add the name of whoever the real estate agent is. Click done. I really like fade. So you select fade and then shadow, put your soft shadow so everything matches and go to size and bring it down to 25%. So everything is matching in the same general size. Then you just simply click and drag it up to its position. Now per MLS and real estate requirements, you always have to add in the brokerage name of the real estate agent. Click the plus, click text, and add in their brokerage information. So same thing here, I like fade a lot. Then you go to shadow, soft, size, and down to 25%. Then for this one, I just click and drag it down to be on the bottom of the video. Now we have our bumper at a really good place. But just to let people know who shot this video, I like to add in nested tours in the bottom right-hand corner so people know who shot the video. Click plus, add text, then I really like this little circle, select shadow, soft, size, and I'm actually gonna bring it down to about 10%, and then I'm gonna drag it down in, into the corner. Perfect. Now we've made our front bumper. Now we're gonna go to the end of the video and create our ending bumper. Now that we've created our front and ending bumpers, you just click the play button in the top right-hand corner. Now it's gonna go through and render out a new preview of all those changes that you've made to your video. This should just take a minute or so. Perfect, that just took about 60 seconds to generate that brand new preview. I normally watch through the entire video, making sure bumpers look correct. Nice, that looks really good. I'm gonna give that a thumbs up. Now you click save. Now it's gonna automatically upload it to your Vimeo account. 
It'll notify you as soon as it's ready for sharing. Perfect. You know, they only took about three minutes for it to render the HD version for us, but there are a few finishing touches that I always like to do before sending it off to the client. I like to jump over to the Vimeo app because it gives you a few additional editing features within the app. Jump over to videos, select the video that you just edited. Then if you scroll down to the bottom, you can actually select a thumbnail for this, a custom thumbnail for this video. Play, scrub over to the section that you want to have. I think that's a good one, select it. And you can actually save the thumbnail from the video. I like to make it public and then to make sure that they can download the video when they open this link. Now it's ready to share and send off to your client. Hope you were able to pick up some good tips and tricks along the way on how to edit a real estate video with the Vimeo Create app. Like this video and drop a comment below. I'll be in the comment section answering any questions that you might have. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.